distance is 5a upon 6 from center to the this. Now it says that x equal to minus a. If I take x equal to minus a, and this is the minus a here, this is a. This is x equal to minus a at this point. So this is a line about which we have to revolve this cardioid. Okay, so we have to revolve this cardioid about this line here. So what is the distance here? Total distance, therefore, distance from the center. Distance. Therefore, the distance of the they are here 0 to pi limit we will take and we will calculate area of this first and then total area is revolved about this. So twice of this area, this is 0 to pi limits we will take and curve is given there. So the distance of the centroid from the line, distance of the centroid from of the cardioid, centroid of the cardioid from the line x equal to minus a is equal to this is a plus because this distance a will be added up to this plus 5a upon 6 that means this is 11a upon 6 actual distance from the center is 11a by 6 so this we will take in the place of x bar in this case distance Okay, area of first we have to find out. What is the area here? Solution. Let me find out. We have to find out the volume. Okay, find the volume. Okay, so the area of the cardioid. Here the area of the cardioid. Cardioid is equal to if I take O, this is A point here. This is O. Let me take this B point here or here B doesn't matter this is B point here so this total area by this arc and of this arc so double twice of that area of the cardioid area of the cardioid is equal to twice 2 into area of the arc o, o A B O O A B O area of this arc twice of that it will give us twice into 0 to pi your limits are 0 to pi we will take into by into ds area by into in this case by into ds we will take so by is given or in this case r into sorry this area is not this but area of this cardioid is 1.2 r square into d theta try to understand how this area we have calculated this is sectoral area if i take a p point here this is p point this is r theta this is p point in sectoral area we will calculate here this is p key point in sectoral area this is delta theta and this is theta here okay sectoral area b just we will solve here in ninth question tenth question that how this area 1.2 r square d theta is calculated is obtained that i'll just calculate but this is the area given to us what is r square here this is this value here so that we will take 1.2 r square d theta this is the area of this cardioid we will take r square is this value twice of this this is giving us so two only cat two into two cancelled out this is only r square into d theta. This is 0 to pi. This is r square into d theta. What is r square here? This is a square from first equation. So this is a square. Let me take outside. This is 0 to pi. r is 1 plus cos theta. Whole square into d theta. It is giving us a square into 1 plus cos theta is 2 cos square theta by 2 whole square into d theta this is 0 to pi it is giving us 2 to the 4 this is 4 let me take outside this is 4 into a square now 0 to pi now this is cos 4 1.2 theta into d theta 
Now I substitute 1.2 theta let me take putting here 1.2 theta is equal to let me take 5 or theta is equal to 2 phi differentiating it is therefore d theta is equal to 2 into d phi limits are what what are the limits here limits are at 0 it is 0 because theta 0 phi 0 and pi it is pi by 2 because it is 1.2 into theta that means theta is pi so it is pi by 2 phi limits are so let me take those limits here what are the limits here let me calculate limits so limits here are that theta equal to 0 lower limit phi is 0 and at theta equal to pi phi is 1.2 pi limits are there let me substitute these limits here <coughs> so therefore area of this area of the cardioid we are calculating area of the cardioid is equal to therefore 4 a square 4 into 2 into d, d theta d phi okay so 8 it will be 8 into a square 0 to now pi by 2 it is now cos 4 phi into d phi this is the value here so what is this value therefore 8 a square into 3 by 4 into 1.2 into pi by 2 so finally what is the value of this therefore the area of the cardioid is this 4 to the 8 it cancel out pi a square into 3 or 3 by 2 into pi into a square so this is the area of the cardioid 3 pi into a square upon 2 only 8 is cancelled out so this is 3 by 2 pi a square this is area this is let me take second equation therefore we know that what is the volume okay now this length is x bar is equal to here we have just calculated 11 a upon 6 yeah 11 a upon 6 from this centroid to this line this is the total length of the so x bar is this 11 a upon 6 therefore area no sorry volume of the revolution therefore volume of the revolution by percent percent golding theorem volume of revolution of the cardioid of the cardioid about the line r cos theta plus a equal to 0 or x bar where x bar is equal to 11 a upon 6 by Peppers and Goulding charm Peppers and Goulding charm or Goulding's theorem we have that what is that volume let me write that volume here therefore this volume will be I'm sorry let me write here therefore volume by Poppers and Goulding charm is equal to area of the cardioid area of the cardioid into circumference into circumference of the circle of the circle generated by the centroid generated by the centroid about centroid of the cardioid in this case centroid of it or centroid of it just right like this centroid of it okay so that will give us now area of this was is 3 by 2 area of the cardioid is 3 by 2 pi into a square into this is 2 pi into x bar x bar is this into 11 a upon 6 it will give us 3 to the 6 cancelled out it is nothing but 11 pi into a cube sorry pi square is this pi into pi is pi square so 11 pi a cube upon 2 so the 6 3 to the 6 cancelled out 11 pi a square into 
and arm three is not given, no problem. This is arm three. Yeah. 11 pi square a q upon 2. This is the answer of this volume here, volume generated by the revolution of this cardioid. Okay, so the volume revolution of this cardioid is this value. There is a question number 6 here we have done. So, question number 6 here we have taken. That is the question number 6. The answer is the same answer we have obtained 11 pi square a q upon 2. That is the answer here. This is the same answer. I was just checking the answer here. What answer is this? It's the same answer. This is important. That y x bar is 11 a upon 6. But this is minus a. Sorry, it says x uh, equal to minus a here. But a is added to this. You will have 5a by 6 from origin to the center plus a we added this is 11a by 6. This is the volume of this standard. Now let me take next question. Now question number 7. Let me check it. What did it say? Question number 7 is of what kind? Let me check that. Okay, so question number 7 here now is seventh question apply paper's term on surface on surfaces of solids of revolution you have to determine the position of center of gravity of a quadrant of a circle circular arc quadrant of a circular arc okay let us take now this is quadrant of a circle let me take this is the quadrant of a circle okay quadrant or one fourth of a circle let me take this a point, this is b point here, this is y axis, o origin, this is x axis, y dash x dash axis. But this is the arc length here, this is right angle, no problem. So this circular arc, let me take this radius is a. Now if the center of this, let me take, this is the line here, o, let me take c point here, this is a, b, b, a, this is o, c. The center of this circle will lie on this line OC. Why? Because line OC is the line of symmetry of this cardio, this uh, arc, I mean this quadrant of the circle. So it says apply Pepper's theorem on surface of solids for revolution to determine the position of the center of gravity. Now in in uh, now in this case it says surface of solid for revolution. We have to find out the area of the so it's of revolution in this case. Determine the position of the center of gravity of a quadrant of a circular arc. So this is quadrant of a circular arc. What is length AB? Let me first find out. So here the circular arc, the circular quadrant arc. This is quadrant of a circular arc. Okay, to determine the position of a center of gravity of a quadrant of a circular arc. Circular quadrant AB. Now, what is the circular length of this? We know that what is circumference of a circle of radius A? It is uh, 1.4, this fourth part, the whole circle, into 2 pi A. So, length of the arc AB is this. This is pi A upon 2. 2 to the 4. So this is the length of the arc AB. This is the length of the arc AB here. Okay, so this is AB here, length of the arc. This is length of the arc AB. This is pi A upon 2. Just try to understand. Now, the center of the uh, grab this will lie upon this. If I drop this, let me write here, this is by bar G. Okay, the distance by bar from the uh, x-axis of G. This is length or distance of this. Now, the ring generated by this uh, revolution of this arc by centroid, that will be 2 pi into by bar in this case. That by bar we have to calculate. It says, apply paper's theorem on surface of solids of revolution to determine the position of the center of gravity. So position by bar we have to find out. This is the let me take GL. Here to find GL, 
which is bypass. This we have to calculate. Position of the centroid. That is the position. That is the position of the centroid. The position of the centroid of the quadrant of the circular arc. Of the quadrant of the circular arc. Right one is of the circular arc. So here, let me find the solution. Now let me see take the solution. So solving all these things. Here, let OC is the it is at pi by four angle. This angle is pi by four here. Okay, is the line of symmetry is the line of symmetry. Okay, line of symmetry at which the centroid G will lie. Try to understand because this line of symmetry will have the centroid here. So G will lie upon this line. So G that G L equal to that G L equal to pi bar. Now the surface area of revolution by per percent now by per percent Gouldin theorem. This is one per percent theorem they say by per percent Gouldin theorem. The surface area of solid of revolution. This is surface area, surface of the solid of revolution. Mm, on surface of solid of revolution. So the area of the surf of surface area of surface of solid of revolution solid of revolution is equal to now here area this is length of the arc length of the arc in this case AB into circumference okay so this surface area will be of what pi a square upon 4 this is fourth part area of this circumference now if I sorry revolve this arc length then it will be a hemisphere we will obtain we will obtain that hemisphere but if this arc is revolved about this line then that hemisphere will be obtained what is the volume of the hemisphere oh, sorry surface area of the hemisphere that would be 2 pi a square because 4 pi a square is the length of the arc ab into circumference into circumference of the circle generated by generated by the circle sorry circ, generated by the centroid of the this is circumference of circle generated by the centroid by the centroid of it centroid of it now question is that if this arc is revolved about this line or OX then a hemisphere will be obtained the circum the area of the circum that uh, hemisphere will be 2 pi a square that we know about sorry uh, area area of that will be pi a square uh, of this whole hemisphere in this case this hemisphere will be obtained the area of the surface because 4 pi a square or r square 4 pi r square is the area of the hemisphere sorry of the sphere that hemisphere will be obtained the area of the hemisphere will be 2 pi a square in this case a is the radius so this 2 pi a square 2 pi a square is equal to length of the arc now length of the arc is this pi a upon 2 into this is 2 pi into by bar let me check this by bar we have to calculate now this 2 pi a square is what 
this is the area of the because this when r pole length is revolved about this line then a hemisphere will be obtained because this is revolved like this that hemisphere will have the sur the surface area the surface area of the hemisphere is this okay so hemisphere the surface area of the hemisphere is equal to this here the arc arc ab revolved about uh, revolved about ox will give a hemisphere will give a hemisphere that will have surface area surface area h 2 pi a square b no about 2 pi a square is the area 4 pi a square is the area of the whole sphere but hemisphere is having 2 pi a square therefore 2 pi a square this area is equal to this by this is by papers term and this is below about so 2 pi a square is equal to this whole by therefore by by is this 2 to cancel out 1 a is cancel out 1 pi is cancel out okay so therefore by is equal to 2a upon pi all right this is 2a therefore by bar is equal to let me write here this imply that position of the centroid by bar therefore by bar is equal to 2a upon this pi this is important point here this position of the centroid g of this arc length quadrant of the arc of the circle is this pi equal to 2a upon 2a by bar is equal to 2a upon pi This is answer here. Try to understand. This is the position of the center. Okay. So from this, why this 2 pi is square? Because this is the hemisphere will be obtained after revolving this arc about this x-axis. The hemisphere will be obtained. So surface area of that hemisphere, we know that 2 pi is square. This must be equal to this. Y bar we have to calculate. Y bar is unknown here. So y bar position of the center we have to calculate. Apply Pappus theorem. to determine the position of the centroid center of the gravity of a quadrant of a circular arc ab all right so this is the by bar here 2 a upon pi okay so that is answer question number 7 we have done let me talk about eighth question now for so the question number 8 here let me check it question number 8 what does it say Now it says, find the position of the centroid of a semicircular area. Okay, find the position of the centroid of a semicircular area. This is semicircular area. Centroid of a semicircular area. Let me take this semicircular area here. This semi semicircle, a proper semicircular area. This here. Okay, let me take this is semicircle, semicircular area. Find the position of the centroid of a semicircular area. So semicircular area we have to find out. Now if this semicircular area is revolved about this line, then the centroid will lie here. This centroid here, or the centroid is lying in this case. This is G here. Let me take this by bar. Again, we have to take this. This is suppose A test. This is A here. This is O point. This is let me take B point here. So semicircle. We can take semicircle like this, and there no doubt about that. Okay. So we have taken this point. No problem. Okay. So area. Then let me take this radius. Now this semicircle, if it revolve about, then whole sphere will be obtained. So what is the area of the sphere? That is equal to area of this. This is again from the position of the center of the semicircular area. Center of the semicircular area. Now, if I have to find out the volume, but this is only given center of the semicircular circular area. He says so area we have to calculate. Okay, no problem. Now, in this case, solution here the curve is semicircular area. Semicircular area. If 
this area is revolved this here if this this revolves about this area simply area if this is revolved about the line uh, x axis let me take the line x axis in this case then a sphere will be obtained a sphere will be obtained here a sphere will be obtained okay so area of the semicircle into that's the volume in this case we have to find out so sphere will be obtained the volume of the sphere must be equal to that sphere volume is equal to this and let g is having the pi bar okay the center of the this semicircle area is g okay and g length of g is pi bar so pi bar position we have to find out okay by pepper theorem by pepper cent and Goulding theorem i'm taking Goulding also Goulding Goulding's theorem of volume of revolution in this case let me take this is volume of revolution for this it says area is revolved about not arc or arc length that when area is revolved about the volume is obtained that is the point find the position of the center of the semicircle area not arc in the seventh unit was arc that was area we calculated now we will calculate volume so <coughs> therefore the volume of the cylinder in this case well sorry volume of the sphere is equal to area of the semicircle area of the semicircle into now this is the circumference by Goldenest term circumference of the circle of the circle generated by the centroid of it but the centroid of the semicircle of the semicircle in this case that it is y bar is the position y bar is the position here so what is the area of the semicircle we know about area of the semicircle but pi a square is the area of the whole circle it will be pi a square upon 2 this is area of the semicircle into 2 pi into y bar this is circumference of the center of the circle generated by centroid and this is the volume equal to volume of the sphere this is you know what 4 pi 4 by 3 pi a q 4 by 3 pi a q okay so this is equal to this here 2 to cancel out 1 pi is cancelled out a square is also cancelled out this is a only let me now write here therefore y is equal to we have to find out the position therefore y bar is equal to this is 4 by 3 let me write completely pi a cube divided by this value here it was pi a square upon 2 into 2 pi only because this y bar we have taken here so this is now a pi 1 pi cancelled out 2 will come here in the numerator it will be 8 by 3 or it is 2 to 1 sorry cancel out it is 2 to cancel out so it will be 4 only 4 by 3 is okay now 1 a is left over okay 1 pi is also there this is 4 a upon 3 pi all right this is 4 a upon pi is 1 pi is left in the denominator this is 3 into pi so this is the pi bar here the position of the this is position of the centroid the position we have to calculate the position of the centroid of the semicircle of the semicircle this is the answer here this is the final answer sorry the final answer is this is the answer of question number
Frisier. Okay, now let us talk about the next question. Now, ninth question. This is the answer here. The answer I have written down. Okay, this is the answer. So, position of the centroid of the semicircular area that we have calculated. Now, question number nine. So, Pepper's and Goulding thought we have applied because of that these are calculated. Now, let me take question number nine. Now, question number nine is of what kind? Let me check. Now, here, question number nine is it says the volume of the solid is generated by the revolution of the area bounded by the curve r equal to f theta. Okay, so here let me take a curve. Let me take a curve like this. <coughs> okay, on this let me take point. It is point A here, let me take, and this is point B here. Okay, up to A, if it is angle alpha, this is angle beta. And upon this, let me take on the arc AB, which is line between alpha angle to alpha beta angle. This is sectorial area we are calculating here. If I take a point P here, and this is Q point here, let me now calculate this. So this is point P, and this is Q point here. And if I just take a centroid which will lie, let me take this centroid is lying on this point G. If I draw perpendicular from G upon the x axis and this is on the y axis from the centroid, the centroid here. Okay, so this is these are two points. Let me take this M, this is L here. This is x axis, this is O, y axis, y dash. And sorry, this is x test. Okay, so x and by x is and this this is a sectoral area. Now what is the first we have to find out what is the volume of the area of revolution? It says the volume of solid of solid generated by the revolution of the area bounded by r equal to f theta. Now in this case polar coordinates are there. So in polar coordinate, this question we have done a number of times previously when we calculated volume of solid of revolution. So in that situation, we did this. Okay, so now let me take this question. Okay, so question number 9 and 10 question, these two are related here. Those questions, those two questions let me take. Question number 9 here is we have calculated. Okay, so these two questions let me do after some.